Snaring has detrimental impact on dog numbers. A pack sticks together. If a pack of dogs moves through an area with a, with a snare line set up and one dog gets caught, and the others won't leave that dog. They might move off and realize the member's missing and they'll always come back. As they come back, another one gets caught. And if no one's watching them or they left their, their own kind of devices, often, depending on how many snares they are there, a whole pack can get caught. ideal conservation strategy is to be able to leave nature to do its own thing, give, give it a good amount of space and suitable habitat and let them do what they do, but it's not always that simple. Dogs in particular don't have a choice, we have to manage them intensively and that means whether it's relocating or mixing up genes to improve the gene pool. Unfortunately, key areas such as monitoring of your high priority species kind of falls by the wayside. We can't forget how important monitoring is. With endangered species or priority species, monitoring is an important part of it. You need to know what's happening out there to be able to make those informed decisions.